My name is Mike Frazee, and I am the owner of Burn Bray Mansion, which actually I opened the B&B five years ago. And it seems like it's 25 years ago, because it's just never, never, never ending. I have to wear everything. Everything. Cook, I went, look, look at the size of you. Look at this, look at this, huh? The golf cart out there has been broken for a month. You're the guy with the strength that can pick it up and fix it. It's going to be me, isn't it? The old guy. I wanted it to be a, a, a little easy retirement business, and now it's seven days a week, 18 hours a day. Anyway, how many, how many glasses of water is that today? <laughs> then you have to take, next, next, what are you going to do? Take a bathroom break because you drank so much water? You should be a tough guy. You should be a tough guy. But if it wasn't for all the family, there's no way this would happen. My daughter Susan, she takes care of the books and she has a tremendous knack for that. She's great. It's turned out to be a lot more work, a lot more work than any of us ever anticipated. It's got to be done. So I've written it all down. Yeah, there's a lot written down there. It's going to take a lot of work. It, 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 things take more than two minutes I, and I, I'm on it. I got some people taking care of it. Andy and Susan have been married 20 years. Andy is, to my estimation, he's the brains of the outfit. Do it, you son of a bitch. That's what you're supposed to say. Go ahead and say, you know, you'll get to all of it, you fuck. Go ahead. No. <laughs> I don't recommend getting into business with family ever. And here I am getting into business with family by my choice. You know, working with the family business is, uh, it sounds great. I don't know, it's going to do shit work. Well, I can't do this. I don't have time for that. I, how many jobs are you going to give me? Like, what the fuck is Hank and Mike? Why can't they do something? Hank and Mike have jobs to do also. He calls me all the time. And most of the time when he calls me, it's usually I need something. About, hello, how are you doing? I haven't talked to you in a while. I need something. Hank, I gotta get this done. Can you handle it? Are you capable of doing it? Can you do it? Can you do it? Like, as if we're a team. Why? Never. Because we're brothers or you just need more help? Running a b, b is stressful. Running a b, b with family is even more stressful. That's the least of our problems. Shortly after my father opened the bed and breakfast, he started getting a number of complaints. We had the same stories from our guests over and over again. People report baby crying. Lights are going on and off without them touching it. People have heard footsteps in a hallway. A woman in a white dress pushing an empty baby carriage. We have people leaving in the middle of the morning, you know, crying, men. Crime. The place is haunted. Damn it, it's haunted. I'm telling you, people, it's haunted. Basically, we could not get people to come in the doors of this place. This can't be good for business. This can't be good for business. Wait a minute. This could be good. The little light went off. Bing! If it's haunted, that's what you gotta play up. So now it is what it is. Fernbury Mansion. America's most haunted B&B. Oh my God! just dropping right now really rapidly. People come here because they want to be scared. We do specific things like ghost tours. We go to the graveyard. So you have an option of having your own bathroom uh -huh. in a safe room okay. or sleep with ghosts in a shared bathroom. We do um, seances. We have psychics come and do psychic readings. Welcome back. Hi. Good to see you. To be honest with you, many of these guests creep me out. There are ghost dogs that are here. We've all heard them bark. Don't consider myself a psychic. It has an inordinate amount of death. It's definitely something that I'm attracted to. From a school teacher to a professor, to unemployed, whatever, that are here, and they all are here for one reason, because it's haunted. Like, I'm really fucking scared to be by myself. There is never, ever, ever a normal day, ever. There's always something going on here. Yeah. We have sold our houses. We have sold what we own. We need new beds in the room. This is where we live. This is where we do our business. I think that we should put Tom in the Elkin room. We need to get those rooms filled. There's been a lot of paranormal activity in there. Okay. There is no plan B. This is it. If all goes well, you make some money. Pay the bills. The quicker we get this crap done, the quicker we can get to the pub. It's a gamble. We put everything into this place. Everything. And there's no going back. There's no turning back. <laughs>